Bill Miller, and I'll be your Chem 1010 instructor this semester. I wanted to welcome you to the class, tell you that uh, this class is going to be a lot of work, but we're going to learn a lot, and uh, it is my job to make sure that you get all of your questions answered, that, you, uh, that I help you learn a lot, uh, and that, that I take that very seriously. So please make sure you ask any questions that you want to, uh, whether it's via email, whether it's coming to my office hours, and uh, we will make sure that we get through this together. Now, um, if you read the syllabus, you'll see that I do have uh, five office hours per week. Please, as much as possible, take that time to uh, and schedule it so that you can come to my office hours. Um, in addition, so there are other office hours throughout the week, uh, and again, this is in the syllabus, that uh, Professor Yasapala and Professor Richards will be offering. Uh, we're working together to offer support for as many hours as possible for our Chem 1010 students. Um, so this is a 100% online asynchronous class, which means that there are no official class meetings and that the course is set up so that you have all the materials you need to uh, get through the course and uh, with my support, learn everything that you need. So for example, uh, in a typical week in Chem 1010, you will have uh, lecture outlines. And those lecture outlines, you'll uh, download uh, the PDF, and then you'll watch pre-recorded lecture videos. You'll fill in the notes, and you'll upload those notes as a PDF to, or there's a couple different ways to do it, but uh, most students do it as a PDF. Uh, and most students uh, take pictures with their camera, and um, the camera then um, I typically use, when I do this, an app called the Adobe Scan app, which makes it pretty straightforward to uh, take scans and turn them into, or to take pictures and turn them into a PDF. Anyway, so you're going to, to take notes, upload those notes, and you'll get points for that. Now, uh, those are the lecture outlines. And then once you complete the lecture outline, you'll have uh, four or five days to complete homework. And the homework is significant in this course. It'll be uh, usually 10 to 15 to 20 problems per week. And uh, a number of these you'll have to uh, do work and find a number. Some of them will be multiple choice. And uh, some of them will be what are called file upload problems. Now, uh, for the homework, you'll see that uh, all the ones with asterisks at the end of the title, you have to actually, even though, so you'll uh, upload your work, you'll get it right, and then you need to, uh, sorry, you will get the right answer, and then separately, you need to upload your work for those problems. And what I will do is, I will uh, check to see that the work looks appropriate for each of the problems. Now, what do you have to show for work? For these homework problems, you have to show your approach, meaning if there's a conversion factor um, and you used it, you have to show how you used it. There are many different ways to solve the chemistry problems here. and um, But what I want to make sure is that I can see how you did it on the homework. Okay, uh, And that was something that I'll look at to make sure that I understand how you're learning. And to be honest, it's a way for me to make sure that you're not uh, Googling the answer and punching in the answer. I don't know if some of them are out there or all of them, but I, that's why I need to see your work. And if you get the right answer and you do not show work, you will not get any credit. So it may get points, but then you don't turn in your work. You show no work for these problems. I will then go back in and take your credit away. Um, and again, that's because uh, I need to see your work. I need, and this is an online class, so I have to have a way of verifying that you're doing it. Okay. Now, so that's so you you do each of these problems. For anyone that has an asterisk, you write down your work, and then you'll get five points just for uploading your work for all those problems. I'll check it. I'll make sure it's all good. For the file upload ones, those you just upload your work just to get credit. And sometimes those problems are longer problems. And I want to see your process. I want to see how you did it. Um, so show all your work for those as well. And that's a continuing theme is 
that you're showing me what you're doing. I'm checking it to make sure that you're doing it correctly and commenting on it. So for the file uploads in particular, I'll comment um, about any mistakes that you made so that you won't make them again. And I'll help you get the right answer. And of course, if you come to office hours or email me, I'll check your work before you even turn it in so that you can get full credit. So that's the homework. Again, we have lecture outlines and homework pretty much every week. You'll also have a recitation assignment each week or pretty much every week. And for those, there'll be four to five problems. And I give you the answers. So I need to see your work for each of these. And for one of those problems, sometimes two if they're short, but or sometimes two parts of a problem, you will uh, actually make, uh, so you'll solve it. And then you'll actually make a video where you discuss and show me each of the steps that you did in solving that problem. And uh, your work for the problems is worth five points. Your video is worth five points as well. And uh, there are several examples uh, from the uh, Start Here page where you can see how to do those videos. And again, if you have any questions, just always ask. So that's the recitation. Again, I, this is an online class. I need to see how you're doing it. And for the video, I will actually hear you discuss how you do it. Finally, there's a lab most weeks. And uh, that lab will be done using a kit that you will pick up on the first week of the semester on Thursday morning between 9 and 10 a.m. If you can't make it, please have somebody you know uh, give your name and pick up the kit for you because labs start in week two. You'll be picking up the kit on Thursday of week one, and we just want to make sure that you've got all the materials. Now, there are extensive videos to help you. Um, I also have office hours, and uh, specifically, if I have, uh, especially if I have two office hours, you can actually do the lab during that time. Uh, and then ask me any questions about it during my office hours. Even if it's one office hour and you're doing it, please, please ask questions. Because the labs, the recitations, the homeworks, and the lecture outlines are all things that you can get full credit for. And all of those points, and I think that adds up to about 35% uh, of the points in the class. Check the syllabus for the exact numbers. But those are all points that you can get 100% on if you put in the time, if you put in the work. And I realize everybody's coming to this course with different separate like work obligations, family obligations, and that may or may not be possible. But the way the course is designed is you put in this time, you do this work, you and, and then you get to the exam. And what you find is that all of that homework, all of those recitations, all of those lecture outlines, and even the labs to some extent, are what you see on the exam. And so when you take the exam, you're prepared for it. It is 60 to 65% of the points of the class, so it's, it's, a big, it's a big thing. But my goal is that you've seen the material before, that you're more comfortable with it. It is still an exam situation. It will be timed, um, but and there's a couple other things I'll say in a minute, but, but the goal is you do all of the non-exam things and then the exam is hopefully as easy as possible. It won't, won't be easy, but um, okay. So now a couple things more about the exam. This is an online class. You will have three days to take three attempts at the exam. You will get one question at a time and you must put in your answer for that question before you go on to the next question, and there's no going back. Uh, and this is not a perfect way to do an exam, but at, the short answer is uh, it at least makes it much more difficult for you to cheat, to post answers on sites like Chegg and then get the answers back and write in your work. So, and it's not a perfect world, but at least you have three days to take each exam and you get three attempts, and I count your highest attempt, the grade on that, as your grade on that exam. You don't have to do all three. Uh, a lot of students over the past have taken uh, one attempt, seen what they needed help with, studied that, taken another attempt, until they improved and got the grade that they needed or wanted. 
And what you'll find is that uh, typically during weeks in which you have an exam, because uh, each of the exams, each attempt takes about an hour and a half to two hours, that's a lot to give you that time. We'll actually back off and maybe not have a recitation that week or a separate recitation. Next, the exams typically have two parts, that timed part that I was telling you about, and then a separate part that has you work one to three questions and upload your work and or a video of your work, and it'll tell you exactly what you need. Um, and then I grade those explicitly. So you won't know until after the exam period is over um, how much credit you get for those. But I think when you do those problems, and those ones are, uh, sometimes they're timed and sometimes they're not. You always have to upload your work or upload your video. The videos are never timed. You have the whole three-day exam period to take them. So anyway, all the details, so each exam is a little different. All of the details are in each of the folders that you'll see. Um, and those, those are the hardest parts of the course. Um, but hopefully you'll feel as comfortable as possible, hopefully with your three attempts. And each of the exams, they're pool-based, so you'll get different questions each time, but on similar topics. So it's not, you know, it's possible to study and get those topics, but you're still going to get different questions each time. Okay. Um, let's see. I think that's uh, a lot about how the course runs. Um, there is... Uh, so most of the experiments, I don't know, I'm, I'm excited for you to do the experiments at home. I'm very happy to help you. Uh, it is important to us that you get practical hands-on lab experience. That's why we have kits with labs that you do at home. Um, oh, other things uh, in particular about cheating. So um, first off, please work with other students in the class, other students in other classes, uh, your big uh, brother or sister or spouse who's taken uh, a similar course before. Um, Google things, look at Khan Academy. Um, some students in the past have even looked at chag.com, uh, which is a website that has a lot of answers. Do it all. And then every single time you do a problem, Take whatever you see and put it into your own understanding, your own format, making sure that you're answering based on what you know, okay, right? I, I, I think having the internet for this and having friends and having tutors is great. However, if I see your work identical to any of these places, you will get a zero. So what does that mean? So look at it, understand it, reformat it, redo the calculations with different uh, numbers of significant figures, make it your own, right? Um, and uh, like that, so you, the work has to be your own. Having said that, you can do it any way you want. And so in particular, when I think of exams and the work that you'll have to turn in for exams, so you do have to show your work uh, after you finish the exam to uh, make sure you get credit for, you for the exam. I need to see your work. And your work should be similar to the work that you did for the homework, the work that you did um, for all the other parts of the class. And so, that's, that, so that I know that you're doing your own work. And so however you do it, and there are many ways to do it, learn it, and then I'm going to expect you to do it the same or similar way on the exam um, because that's how you learned it. Um, I, Yeah, I mean, and I do at the end of the semester uh, and sometimes in the middle of the semester after exams, I do look at websites like Chegg.com and make sure that your work doesn't match it. Um, Things to keep in mind, again, I, I don't want to catch anybody cheating. I don't want anybody to cheat, yet I want you to use the materials available in this vast internet that we have. Um, so uh, I log on to these sites. I see um, if there's, you know, speaking candidly, uh, if you misspell a word and it's misspelled on Chegg.com or on Khan Academy, then that's a dead giveaway. 
if you have exactly the same sig figs, if you use a topic that we never discuss in this class. That's a dead giveaway. If you turn a grams into a nine, that's a dead giveaway. And if, if on the exam you turn in this work and nobody wants to get a zero on an exam, they're, they're worth a lot of points, nobody wants so. But if you do it in your own way, and then I can go back and see on the homework that you're doing it exactly the same way, everything is good, whether it's a more advanced version. Anyway, just learn it, do it, and everything will be very good. Um, anyway, I'm happy to answer questions about that. Um, this is an online class, and I hope to grade all of your things pretty quickly so that you get the feedback you need to see how you're doing. Um, let's see. Yeah, so uh, with all that said, I hope you have a good semester. I am here for you. I hope to get to know you. Oh, please sign all of your emails with your name. I appreciate that. Um, because that helps me to learn names. Um, let's see. I think that's it. I'll have to add another video if I think of anything else. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you soon in class.